Alright guys, Tony here at MacMediaStudios.com We're going to do a, like a, an unboxing uh, I don't know if you guys know about the situation I went through with TheLightningDog.com uh, Four months later, I finally got my dock um, uh, in Sometime in August, towards the end of August I found out since I got the iPhone 5 in the launch um, I got the iPhone 5, I've, you know, I'm an Apple technician of 23 years, so I got a little bit in advance, but I got my iPhone 5, you know, on launch day, and, uh, and then I started looking for a dock, because I always keep my phone in the dock. Um, I ended up finding some cheap, uh, little, um, uh, they're called, uh, Casemate, they're little, uh, holders, basically, they'll hold an iPad mini, They'll hold an iPhone, and I got a couple of these things. Uh, actually, I got four of them because uh, I like the way that they sit, and you're able to stick, you know, any kind of, uh, you know, iPad, even a full size iPad, iPad Mini, iPhone, whatever, and they've got the little hole in the back so that you can slide the cable in, and then through the front, and then it goes up, and this little piece down here in the bottom, it's so far open I can actually have my headphone there also so I can plug my headset in and have the charge cable here also so I finally gave up with trying to get this because I waited almost two months uh, after all their um, excuses uh, I sent you know I flame mailed them I almost did a DDoS attack on their server because I was so pissed because they took my money and what I found out in the end is that they were actually taking people's money when they first got the uh, first model uh, and the actual one that they were showing was the uh, white version which is this version of the dock here uh, they showed this this is the original dock for the iPhone first generation uh, iPhone um, the you know iPhone 2G so it has a 30 pin connector and there's an audio out so uh, is this AV out or is this like oh this is this audio out because there's one that has AV out also so, they showed this exact doctor without the 30 pin and had a lightning connector in it. And this is what they showed that they were going to sell. And I thought, well, okay, I've been buying these forever. And by the way, just for you people know, this one does work with the iPhone 4 and 4S. Um, it does not work with the iPhone 3G. It does have rounded uh, edges around it, but the 3G and the 3GS will not fit in here. But the iPhone 2G will fit in here. And the um, iPhone... Uh, 4 and the iPhone 4S does fit in here. I don't know why it does. Um, and my iPhone 5 would actually fit in here also if this had a lightning connector. So, uh, But this is what they showed on their picture on their website coming October 1st. So I immediately put it on my calendar so that I would get it. So on October 1st, I went to the website and I saw these metal cylinders they were like a, just a solid piece of aluminum, and it was silver, and it had the lightning dock sticking out of the top. But they didn't show behind it how it was constructed. They just showed it in like, you know, just one piece. It was very weird. Uh, and then within the next, the next couple of weeks, I ordered mine as soon as I saw it. Uh, it said $80 for it. And uh, I'm sorry, I didn't buy it for about a week later because I'm like, $80? I'm not going to pay $80 for a dock. So... Uh, a couple weeks later, a week later, I went back and they changed it. It went down to $40, and then they came up with a plastic back for it and everything. So I ordered it, and I waited. It says, uh, it didn't say two to three weeks for shipping. And I paid for it to get here uh, with uh, next day shipping, which cost me another $30 for it to get here next day. So they got 60 some odd dollars out of me uh, for this dock that I never got. And then I started going because I am a big tech blog and I am a, a cele celebrity endorsed company. So um, I was able to uh, go to Engadget. Um, uh, what, I went to Engadget. I went to um, uh, Mac Rumors. I went to Gizmodo. Uh, some of my buddies at some other blogs. And people started complaining that they paid also and they never got a refund. They never got nothing. This was four, four months ago. Mind you, actually October, November, December, January, yeah, four months. So I finally ordered mine about a month ago, and it just came. 
and it was supposed to be here. It said seven to ten days to get here, and it's been over a month to get here. I finally got here in six weeks. So, this is kind of crazy, but I'm glad I got it, and I did not get it next day here. So, I don't know why, but what, what I found out is that they're using the money that people were actually buying them, and they're taking that money and then placing orders for the mold and then getting a certain amount ordered. Then they're taking other people's money because they're basically using our money for their startup costs to get the stuff printed or, you know, made. Uh, 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 and so make the die cast, uh, uh, everything that's involved with that to create the, the actual dock. So I'm going to do an unboxing and we're going to show you how to do this. Um, since I got it, I was very uh, uh, skeptical. I thought it was a ripoff. Uh, but now that I got mine, I don't even know what's in here, but it does say from, from the lightning dock. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up here and we'll see what we got. I did um, get a friend of mine that sent me one of his videos um, showing me that he actually got his and how it worked finally. It was um, kind of strange because uh, the, the guy that sent it to me is a friend of mine and he also waited for over um, almost two months to get it. And he's a very popular blogger as well. So, uh, we're just going to tear into this real quick. I uh, usually have my scissors handy, uh, but I have a family, and they basically uh, think that everything on my desk is <laughs> available for everybody. So, not thinking that this does not have a strap on it. Of course, it doesn't. They'll open it up quickly and easily. So, let's open it up, and there it is. Smash box, all smashed up. Um, that's the way the other guys came also. He just showed the box. He didn't show anything else. So, so we got the box smashed up. It says the lightning, the lightning dock. So um, that's all it says. There's the back of the box. Basically, it says uh, elegant and simple. The lightning dock will allow you to easily dock your iPhone 5 or iPod Touch. Easily adjustable, the lightning connector to use your iPhone or iPod Touch with or without a case. So it's got the lightning.com uh, website here, their logo, and made in Canada. So that's kind of weird. So, okay, let's get into it. So I don't know how you can get in this box. It's pretty heavy, whatever it is. It, it's really heavy. I think it just slides out. Yeah, okay, slides out. So we got the thank you for your support, and um, I am a Christian man, so I would say something uh, that starts with an F and ends with a, you know, the other word starts with a Y, so, but I won't say that. Uh, connector inf installation, this is just an installation guide, it's very thick, you know, and voila, here is the duck. So let's pull it out, and I'm going to do a live. Here's the uh, little plastic piece that goes inside the little slit. If you can see that little slit up right here in the top, that's the back support, and this is the actual hole for the lightning connector. So I got a brand new lightning connector right here from uh, the Apple Store, $19. So um, we're going to open up this one here so we can do this. Uh, it comes with a toolkit. Um, uh, I already know this because I watched my buddy do his. And uh, it comes with an Allen wrench, and it goes through the back. And basically what it does is that you can buy it with the cable already attached to it. It's a little bit more money. Um, but since I already have like 20 of these cables, um, I'm just going to use a new cable and set it up with the new one so I can dock my iPhone with the bumper around it because that's the reason why I was very interested in this because this was the only first dock that was actually... Uh, 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 advertised out as soon as the iPhone came available. So uh, when the iPhone came out, there was no dock yet. And this, these were the only people that actually had advertised that they have a dock for sale. So that's kind of why I kind of stuck along. And I like the black since it, it matches my iPhone, which is actually taking this video right now. So I won't be able to show you my phone in it. Um, I might do, I'll do another video after this one just so that we can show you what the dock looks like with the phone in it. But uh, we're just going for purposes today, we're going to show you how this works. So basically inside this package, I get a couple of things. Uh, remove protective white plastic from 
uh, back plates. Back plates can have a tight fit. Inserting and removing several rods will loosen that fit. Okay. Yes, that's a warning. There's my little Allen wrench I got to use to uh, tighten up the screw to push against the lightning dot connector on the inside of the hole here. That's what it uses is a pressure point so that um, yeah, that's how it holds itself in. So we've got two different sizes uh, for the back support. Um, I'm sure this one is for an, uh, an iPad, for iPad mini, uh, because they know that this is a lightning dot. It will hold iPad mini, and this is for an iPhone. And since I'm going to be using it for both, I'm just going to stick the back cover into the little slot there. It's basically uh, just a, a little prong here, and you stick it inside the little slit, and you just slip it in there. And then there's a little black hole right there, and there it is, and it's inside now. So now we got a pretty secure uh, situation, and... Uh, and the reason why it's got a slit in it because there's a hole right here. And the hole right here, if you can see it, I don't know if you can see it yet, right there. There's a little hole right there that you can see at the top. And that's where I stick the Allen screw. So I'm going to do that next. So I'm going to get out. I got the lightning dock right here. Connector. And I'm going to need a flathead screwdriver. Um, basically a tool that uh, has not been used in uh, basically only people that I know that use as flathead screwdrivers are people that um, work in a uh, electrical so just happen to have a flathead screwdriver here so we're going to go ahead and open this up and this is pretty tight wow I didn't want that to come off I guess and that one is really loose so that's kind of weird so I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And I do remember the way it looked and worked from the previous My Buddy's video. So basically it's the same. So you got a hole right here. And as you can see, it goes through it. And what you do is you take it. It's actually oval shaped, the size of the uh, this, of the uh, lightning connector. doesn't matter which way you put it in. So And as you can see, there's a slit um, on the side of it. There's a little slit right here. Let's see if I can get uh, an angle. There's a little slit right there because that's how the Allen wrench uh, goes inside of it like this, inside that slit to get the little screw that's inside there and it pushes up. It pushes up against the end of this to push it up to the side of the hole. So here I'm going to push it through. Um, the guy said it was kind of hard to get it through. It's not easy to get it up through the hole. This is a really tight fit. Wow. This is not easy. So I don't think that they really mean for this thing to come out once you stick it in here. This is not something I can do with my hands. Wow, this is tight. Okay, I'm having to use a screwdriver just to get it through. And I don't want to ruin the dock connector. And I'm still not even out. It's barely sticking out, and I've still got this much to, to stick it in. So um, I think what I did wrong is that I think that it's tight. So I'll just use my brain and loosen up the screw and see if that helps. And voila, that was the problem. And I should have thought about that to begin with, but I didn't. I don't know why. So I'm just going to loosen up a little bit more. It's still hard to get in. And there it is. So it popped through. So I'm just going to stick it down, I'm going to level it out. They said if you get the black one, just make it level and then tighten the screw down and then get a, sh a Sharpie if you just don't want, you know, anybody to see the white. I mean, if you're that, you know, uh, picky. Um, and then you run this part, this part goes down into here. It goes out the back, like so. And then you put the plate back on it. And this seems to be a plate. It's just going to smash it down to keep it in place so it doesn't fall out. So let me put the screws back in it.
it's kind of a, um, I mean, in a way, it's kind of a, a good design. Um, I, I mean, I, I really do like it. Um, it is kind of a cool design, uh, but I don't know why that it took so long, or they, they wouldn't, I mean, I went on their blog, and I said, you know, where's my thing, and, and, and just, I got no answer, I got a couple of email back saying that it says four to six weeks for delivery, and I said, well, when I ordered it, it didn't say that, which it didn't, and, because they had just put up the website, so I think they hid behind that, and then I finally got, tired and then one day I just out of the blue I got a refund for the lightning dock back in uh, no at the end of November almost two months later so here it is guys here it is I do have my iPad mini so let me grab that and uh, let me get that real quick to show you what it looks like since I'm shooting and, uh, and I'll plug it into here a little deep. I'm going to plug it in my Mac Pro 8 core and uh, I'll move this out of the way so you can get a good shot of this and uh, light a puppy in there and it should come up and oh, I'm running my, uh, my PC on my Mac. I'm running my, there we go. So now it's charged, charging. Let me take it off. Put it back on. Can't see my hole where the hole is. That's probably going to take a little bit of use here. So it's charged. So it's charging. It's working. Uh, as you can see, the back of it, uh, it's got no clearance whatsoever, which right up against that back plastic. So that makes me feel very good that there's a uh, they did say um, in their, um, whenever they're uh, uh, promoting this, that you didn't need the back piece, but they only made it because people were kind of scared that the actual uh, tip of the lightning connector was not solid enough. And of course, you know, I would believe it's sitting here and I bump it and I snap it right off and it gets stuck up underneath inside my unit, you know, my iPhone or my iPad mini or, or you know, whatever. And um, so I, I just feel more protected knowing that I have a good back here. So if I push on it, it, it anyway, it pushes back, it's just going to tip over. It won't actually snap off and, and I got a you know, broken thing, broken connector, and then I got to figure out how to get the thing out of my port. So there it is, guys. It's charging right up there. If you can see that right up there at the top, I don't know if you can see that. It's got a charging symbol there. I'm going to have to do this right here. See if you can see that. Yeah, it's charging right there. So, there it goes. And uh, that's it, guys. So, uh, I do endorse it. It does come with... Um, I don't know what these are. I guess... Oh, I know what this is for. Uh, these are little um, plastic... Uh, these are for the back side of this. I Now I know where they go. I understand. They go right here on this one. This is so that it will lean up against not just a plastic, but a, um, a resting spot. This is not even a mount. And yet, in my, my buddy's video, I guess this must be new for new customers. So let me try that again, because it was sitting at an angle a little bit when I did put it in there a minute ago. So, um, let's see. See if I can get it to go in there. There it goes. Oh, that's a much, much tighter fit. Oh, yeah. So if you can see this now, you can see there's a there's a little bit of, just a little bit. It's actually hitting the back of it now. So now it's a tighter fit. It's not hitting just plastic. It's hitting a little rubber thing there. So it won't touch the plastic at all. So very nice. I'm very happy. Finally, four months, almost five months later, I've got it. Um, awesome. I'm totally happy. I got a dock for my this one. I'll probably buy another one for my iPhone 5 so I can have both of them here charging and use these for my other iPad because I have no multiple iPads here. As you can see behind me, I've got you know I got the uh, iPad uh, fifth generation. I've got uh, two iPad minis, four GLTEs. I've got a stock pile of ear pods. I've got the uh, iPhone 5 white, uh, a white one, three black ones. 
uh, one of those is for our, our giveaway. Uh, if you want any more information or you want to know about us, MacMedia.com, MacMediaStudios.com, sorry, I'm going to ask my old address. MacMediaStudios.com, uh, Facebook is www.facebook.com forward slash MacMediaStudios. We got Twitter is www.twitter.com forward slash MacMediaStudios. And then we've got our, um, let's see here, what's going on here? Oh, yeah, the blog uh, is uh, pimpyoiphone.wordpress.com. So we'll catch you later, guys. Till next video. Peace. And uh, we're going to have another couple of uh, reviews to go through here and show you what's up. I got to get going right now. I got to do some other stuff. So I'll catch you again. Uh, this is the Lightning Doc, and it is, you can purchase it uh, from www.lightningdoc.com. And that is the address there. It is www.thelightningdoc.com. And uh, here is the address at the bottom here. Let's see if you can see that down there. www.lightningdoc.com. Make your own judgment. Uh, I am sold on it. I like it. I love it. Um, I am happy now that I actually got it five months later. See you later, guys. God bless.